What is up, y'all? It's the Eric V, your stream teach here. And would you believe that I'm not using my usual camera, the Sony A5100, but I'm using my cell phone, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G, to record this video. I am using OBS to record this right now over Wi-Fi. If you do not have a webcam, that is no excuse to not have a camera on your streams. You can use your cell phone as something other than a device for tweeting out, I'm live, y'all. And you can actually use it to improve your streams themselves. Let's get into how to do that with the Droid Cam app. By the way, this is an Android video. Class is in session. Alrighty, so the first thing you want to do is go into your phone and go into your Google Play Store and find DroidCam OBS. And it's made by Dev47 Apps. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. They don't know who I am. The only way I benefit from this video is if you give me likes, shares, maybe subscribe, you know, so feel free to do that stuff. Anyway, after you've installed that program and open it, you will see your Wi-Fi IP, your device IP, and the Droid Cam port. You don't need this information just yet, but hold on to it. And while you wait, I want you to type in Droid Cam OBS into your chosen search bar. And again, we see Droid Cam OBS by Dev47 Apps. And we have a pretty good FAQ here as well, in case you need any additional help that's not answered in this video, but I'll do my best to make everything clear. So as you can see from here, Streamlabs OBS is not supported. So most of my tutorials involve Streamlabs OBS as well. This does not. So because I'm using Windows 11 specifically, I'm gonna download for Windows and then we're going to click it. I already had this installed actually, but I'm reinstalling it for y'all just so you can see. I read that very fast, don't ask. And we choose our destination folder. And if you want to use this with iOS devices as well, as you can see, there's an Apple USB support option here. So I'm going to keep that checked, but I don't have an iOS device here, so I can't show you how to use iPhone. However, there's an FAQ here, so feel free to use that. I'm going to click install. And as you can see, it's been installed on my computer. I can click finish. Now that I've restarted OBS, I'm going to click on the plus sign under sources and we have Droid Cam OBS here. I'm going to click OK. You can name this after your cell phone if you want to, but I'm going to leave it named as Droid Cam OBS for simplicity's sake. So as you can see, we have our resolution video format, our device, as well as the Wi-Fi IP. That's when we're going to look at our phone, use that IP address that is in there. And once we click activate, it activates. Now I have paid for the pro version of this program, so I can use this in HD, even though this is in 640 by 480. This isn't a bad resolution, but it is the max for using the Droid Cam app. And if you think about it, as long as you're shoving this camera in the corner of your stream, 480p isn't the worst, but if you do want to go to 1080p, which again, I paid for, I can click deactivate and then I can select 1080p and then I will reactivate. And now it's in 1080p. Normally there's a watermark here. If you're using the free version, it is pretty annoying, but at least you can see what the quality would look like on your phone. And as you can see by the intro of my video, 1080p doesn't look so bad. Now, as you saw during the installation process, there's also a USB option. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And of course, using USB will look better than using the Wi-Fi. And your phone will charge while you're doing this. If you're using your phone's camera for hours on end, there's a chance that your phone could get really hot. So I would say monitor the temperature of your phone, maybe touch it every now and then and make sure it's not overheating. You don't want to damage your camera's battery life or your camera's life in general by recording four hours or six hours or 12 hours like some of you crazy people do. So always just keep that in mind. If you want to use USB, you have to go into your phone's options 
into the settings and unlock the developer options. Go into settings and then you look for the build number, which is for me under the about section. And you tap the build number seven times to unlock developer options. It'll ask you to unlock your phone or enter your password to actually confirm that you're doing that. So once you scroll down a little bit, you'll find USB debugging under developer options and you wanna turn that on. So after you do that, you should be asked if you want to allow your computer to access this phone. So after you do that, you might have to refresh the device list and then you'll see your phone's serial number up here. And I have clicked that instead of the Wi-Fi option that was there. And when I activate it, we should see our phone. And of course, like I said, this is better, lower latency, and we are good. And again, we are able to remain charging the phone as we're using it for our stream while also monitoring its temperature. So again, if you wanna use this method, it's a great workaround. It's relatively cheap. It's cheaper than a webcam that will be of similar quality. So I say, try it out. So as you can see, if you take the few extra steps to use USB instead of Wi-Fi, you get a slightly better picture. And if you spend the $10 to get the full access to the pro version of the app, you can stream in 720p, 1080p and have good quality. Always keep in mind though, like I've said before, I wouldn't advise streaming in 1080 60 because most viewers can't really see that if you're not a partner, depending on if you are granted encoding options. But if you want to watch a video on that, watch a video on that. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, feel free to hit it with a like. If you know somebody who it will benefit, feel free to share that video to them. And if you have any questions, feel free to hit the discord, leave a comment or come to my streams every Monday, Wednesday, Friday or old school Saturday. And I can address them live for you. Class dismissed. The iPhone has no real advantage over a galaxy no substantial advantage you know what you know what and this is why this is why iphone people always go to this fucking blue bubble shit. like you know how meaningless a fucking bubble is like that's always oh but but the, the green bubbles well you got them green bubbles Shut your ass up.